Fumbo, I was I was overhauling the character page for Final Fantasy VII on TV Tropes, and I had to go to the Dirge of Cerberus script on Game Facts and read it so I could like you know do do add info on that. And I was reading about the flashbacks and like Hojo is still acting like a dick to Lucretia. Like he's all like, "So you've come to your senses and chosen me." <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, like what the, did she ever see in him? Like he's like the best drunk? thing since sliced bread or something. Hey, look! Yeah. Look Was who it really is! She wasn't oh, with hey, him for love, right? Naked with no legs! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Torso again. <laughs> People the are arms. Just I love the arms. arms. Isn't it great? Look at him! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Hojo is just I like. Think he's to cop a feel. What does he gain <laughs> from this? <laughs> come here, Tifa, come to daddy. Give me testicles. <laughs> Can I just Clown. ask what Hojo actually gains from, you know, like being an evil prick and trying to stop Cloud? Like, the planet well, gets destroyed, the See. he dies, who cares? Like, he dies, he gains nothing from this. He is, in the very strictest sense, a family man, in that <laughs> his son is everything to him. He basically so wants, his he, he bizarre, wants to prove, twisted ambitions yeah. are his. He, he wants to basically prove that, 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 his, that, what, that what he created, obviously, is kind of, like, unstoppable. The yeah. ultimate life form. Yeah, yeah I mean, was something else, wasn't it? Doesn't really care about anything else, just, you know, he, he's a scientist. For the, so for, he's for going him. to prove that he was science. successful. Yeah. It's ju it's, it's, it. It's just, it is just for science, and really, that's the only yeah. explanation you can use. Okay, so... Well, you, can do I anything, mean, you can do anything and call it science. What about the, uh, the canon thing at the end? I thought that was just, you know, his mindless okay. devotion to... I'm going to run in a second, because I love half of this scene, but... Oh boy, yeah. No, it is, this, it is pretty cool. This like, bit is cool, but we're going to get to the bit I hate in a minute. I think I know the bit you hate. Yes. Um, I think we used to have a screen cap of it on the wiki. I'm not that sure right I'm following there here. Let's... Is the most stupid fan service that FF7 <laughs> has ever done. That is the most ever? stupid fan service ever. What does that add to the Wait scene? Wait a second. Whoa, whoa, stop a sec, stop a sec. I thought you hated superlatives. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't care about superlatives oh. anymore. Is that data superlative to say that you hate superlatives? Oh. oh, you don't care about superlatives anymore because you are incensed. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> My opinion changes every day. Every second of every day. I think your opinion yeah, changes. I won't say that's not the dumbest I've seen. You have I don't think you've seen Emina's bikini scenes from Type Zero. Oh oh I mean, maybe from other games in the series, but definitely from this game, that is the, oh, yeah. the stupidest fan service. Because it literally adds nothing. I wasn't too sure how to react personally when I saw Zack in a pair of swimming trunks. Well, swimming shorts. <laughs> No. Well, I was, well, fighting, I, I, with an, fighting with an umbrella. Funny, but then I saw Sisney in a bikini and my mind blanked, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a Japanese game. By the way, I that keep seeing some kind of like, white thing at the bottom flashing. Uh, white thing? Goes, uh, yeah, I see that, it's just doing the scene transitions. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that happens. Why does that happen? Uh, because I suck, probably. Now, incidentally, on the subject of you sucking, I noticed there's no mouse. Yeah, I've removed it, finally. About time. I'm so proud. So proud. And um, by the end of this episode, actually, the frame rate increases a lot, because the end of this episode is like when I got a new computer, and, you know, the quality increased massively. Yay! Oh. So are you not so far ahead on your... Recordings anymore? I thought you were still pretty far ahead. I'm decently far ahead. I've just beaten Rocket Town. No, I thought you'd done Mingar again. Oh no, I've done that as well. I'm pretty sure that comes. No, I did. I did uh, Midgar before I did Rocket Town. What? Yeah. What? What? I did Midgar before I did Rocket Town. Where? That's not possible. It is. What? You're going to see it later on. 
Did you use a glitch or something? No, I, d I, d I didn't. I actually did it legit. You can do it. What do you mean? What I did In Midgar. Do you know the that... bit where you get the Sector 5 key? I did that before I did Rocket Town. Oh, Town. that Midgar. Oh. I thought you meant the airship above Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, it's called... Yeah, that I'm not sense. that far. That would make no sense. Oh, okay. Well, now everything's starting to work out. Yeah, um... It's fine that we talked over that because um that scene nothing really happened that we didn't already see. Basically, Cloud is insane. Tifa like lies to him. Well, if you want to, well if you, if you, well if you want to follow okay, up in the, a lot of guys. from the bit in the train station that basically followed straight on from after Zack died when he got himself to Midgar and doesn't know. Yeah, what's more going or on. less. Is that what happens? Yeah, that is pretty yeah. much immediately that that it that follows on from when Zach yeah, died. Yeah, he's still suffering to... really bad from uh, the uh, from his Marco sickness. Yeah, I, I think he's just mm. kind of coming coming out of it now because and, he's yeah, not Tifa. Really when he reacts to when Tifa speaks to him and like forms his identity right then. Yeah, Cloud is one messed up kid. He kind of took "You are my living legacy" way too far. To be fair, though, I mean, he wouldn't be messed up half as bad as he was. It was the fact that Hojo is horrible. And yeah, and the we fact can come, that we can go back to that. And Mako poisoning. Oh, on that well, subject, that, um, he got Mako poisoned because Hojo is horrible. That's the thing. Hmm. Yeah. On the subject of poisoning, what? On the subject, um, they have said that. FF10 and FF7's worlds are connected. I mean, nope, 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 you, nope, you can nope, obviously nope. reject that. Nope. I wouldn't blame you if you reject that. But Mako poisoning, and I've been recently replaying um, FF10, Mako poisoning and Syntoxin, pretty similar. Not entirely. Mako poisoning puts you basically in some sort into of. A, it, it, could, it puts you into a. Into a well, it makes you a vegetable. Yeah. Basically, sin sin's toxin just kind of uh, screws around with, um, with your memory. But then it makes sense. And what if Waka had Mako poisoning? But that that just made him racist. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but then again, when it comes to sin's toxin, who have you actually seen that suffered from it? Because I don't think that Tidus was suffering no. from I his think toxin a at of all. That you can see that are suffering from it a little bit, but I think the sin toxin is actually just a lie. Ooh, look at the shiny lines across the screen. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Those actually end soon, by the way. This is oh, the last episode that. with those. Because you got a new computer, I take it? Yep. I figured that might be related. Yay! So now you get to play as Tifa. Is this like... This is my favourite scene. This is my favourite quest like thingy. your fantasies? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> But Since I brought Summon Meteor, I want to bring something up that I've done on a, my user page post about this. Mm. How we know Materia works is Materia metaphysically interacts with the life stream of the planet to do things. So that mm -hmm. said, where I, I find myself asking, how can Materia manipulate a meteor in space? Well, mm. it, I'm just going to be theoretical here and say it's possible that the black Materia is not the same, or at all related to the materia that would of this, like, could it be a materia from, say, another planet, perhaps? Yeah, or the something? theory I had was, if, what if it's from, like, because Genova came from a meteor. Yeah, so that's right, like, exactly. With, yeah. Genova, with Genova being a traveler between planets, it's highly likely she could have brought, the, you know, she, she could have brought this in her, in her system, maybe, or it was formed when she crash-landed. Uh, yeah, Sigari, yeah you never really know. Genova, so it would make sense that they would seal away the black materia because, well, Genova. Have you noticed the quality increasing? Oh, it's um, not a subtle entirely. difference, but meh. Oh, well. I, I anyway, still see a little bit of black. <laughs> this quest is my favorite in Seven Story because it focuses on Barrett and Tifa, and they are my favorite characters. And you get to manipulate Tifa's individual body parts. And you see how That's incredibly true. limber and flexible she is. Look what I can do, Cloud, and yet you still won't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Cloud didn't get to see it, so, you know. Uh, Techno, have you ever seen, um, uh, I can't remember the guy who did it, he, um, made a video like, um, Aerith Sky destroying, destroying guys or something like that? Uh, no, I haven't. 
Uh, I'll look at her after this. It's like she's yeah, talking. What are you doing? Right. No. I'll have a look. Yeah. <laughs> well, like she's Scarlet. talking. Really... Smack. Oh yeah. I'll, t I'll show you after this. All right, sweet. Can, yeah. can, 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 can nobody see Kate's its head right in the Cut middle shoes. of that? Yeah, I was gonna bring that up, but they were busy, <laughs> so I didn't really get the chance no, to. When I when I played it in the original, like, cause I didn't hate Katsu in the original. Like, I still I don't hate him that much. I just think his storyline is shit. But um, like, Shin regards your incompetence knows no bounds. No yeah, bounds. I mean, like. I was, I didn't actually notice that, I thought, oh, that's a geezer, who cares, or whatever. And then when he suddenly comes out here, I was like, oh, shit, that's actually pretty neat. Yeah, it looks like he's some sort of, like, Palmer grew a beak or something, is what it looks like. He looks headless, like, and then you realize there's a head in the middle of his chest. This is the closest cut she ever comes to redeeming himself. But what about when he sacrificed himself to... Some of the black materia. No, that oh, was. What just... about when he tells Yuffie to shut up and add the children? <laughs> okay. Well, how's he that shut your goal? <laughs> yeah, that, that was, like, that was I good. I think probably one of the best lines in Advent Children. Lassie, shut your gob. <laughs> uh, shut your mouth. Is not that what he says? Shut your mouth. I think uh, he said he, sa he says gob first, and then he says mouth because he's got a very very strong Scottish accent. <laughs> I'm yeah. here because you've actually Can you played imagine Dirge living with that in the entirety of Final Fantasy VII? Like, somebody because... must want to, like, slit his throat in his sleep or something. If he, they could actually do that. What was that, nothing, no? Um, sorry. So, I was just saying, um, like, because you've actually played Dirge of Cerberus, uh, does he, uh -huh. does Kachi have the same voice then? Exact same voice, yeah, um, but he operates entirely on his own. Um, he doesn't have his mog with him, he's not riding on oh, Nanaki. Yeah. He, seems to, he seems to act completely independently of Reeve. Um, I mean, there's a part where you can play as him temporarily, and he's awful, and all you can do is sneak around because anything kills, uh, hits you and you're killed, but yeah. yeah um, it's, it's That's quite not accurate to the original game. It, it's quite fun, actually. <laughs> so, sorry, um, Jim Cloud, you were saying something earlier? I actually have no idea what I was saying earlier. Oh, <laughs> cool. I I missed yeah. that before. I hate this broad. Hate. <laughs> I can't believe that got into this game. Actually, mm. is that not is that so bad, really? <laughs> well, no. It's just not the sort of thing I'm used to hearing from Final Fantasy. From Final Fantasy. Uh, that's fair, but I mean, it is catchy, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kachi, mm. Oh, Kachi is basically, they just used the dumped idea from Celez again, and that's basically who he is. Yeah, but Celez isn't funny. She's just kind of a cold hearted yeah. witch. Celez is wicked though. Oh, wow. I like her, but she is a bit of a bitch. <laughs> well, she is at times. I'll... The lesson? I will admit. Uh, she used to be. Oh. She used to be. Is he actually? Sorry, go on. What I had to say was way less important. <laughs> that always reminded me of Metro. When we're talking about sellers now, I've just been reminded of something that we saw at Distant Worlds. Um, when oh, yeah? they were playing something. Something fun about Fantasy Six. I don't yeah. quite remember. But it showed, you know how in the anthology release they had the little FMV bits, oh, which, yeah, yeah, which yeah. you don't see onwards, and you see oh, the bit with, you, you see the bit with Sellers tied up. But afterwards, it then went to the, you know, the whole the usual little sprite bits, and her sprite is tied up. Now is that just in Japan? Because in my versions, the ones that I've played, she's never been tied up. She collapses on the floor the minute the yeah, soldier leaves. Yeah, she's not even tied up. In yeah, yeah. yeah. They, in, they try to make it less um, awful. Is, is, and, uh, is, that, is that something that they censored? Because I censoring, don't think, yes. Yeah, I, because I've never, there was I've more never, culture involved. I've never even read that on the wiki. I mean, the, it goes in and she's 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 tied up, whereas you go in in Western. I thought they mentioned it somewhere actually. She's I'm gonna bring up something now. I think they she's tied up. I mean, they might have changed the advance release, but I remember her being tied up because she. Had they didn't change it in the um, Android and iOS release. Really? Because I don't remember I'm not that. Bring up here, actually. Go they on. did it. They didn't change it. You missed it. Junin, the city. The way they get this prepared for like battle makes you think they've done this a lot. And also, 
the sort of thing they do, like they have all these steel sheets that raise up in front of all the buildings. Yeah, uh, about, about you saying like they've done somebody... this a lot. Like, really? It, well, Who would was, Shinra well, go to war with? They would go to war with the other continents, I would guess. Well, they would go to but war I with mean, other people, but who would go to war with them? Yeah, I don't know, but there's that, and then there's the fact that... Imagine if somebody actually managed to get to those controls and managed to just lock up the entire city by bringing those up all of a sudden. I think, oh, okay. well, I mean, even if nobody went to war with Shinra, with it, with Junon's location being on the coast, uh, very exposed, and with it being basically a tra basically a training ground for the military, it, I suppose it kind of makes sense that if that you know having the military there all the time could breed trouble, and people you know could want to maybe stir something up there. So, they, so, they wanna so, well. so protecting the citizens is what they're doing by raising all those big sheets up, I suppose, because they're like the houses and the barracks, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it seems very inefficient, though. Kind of. It's like, oh, I need to go to the shop for some milk. Ah, oh, shit, we're getting attacked again. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking on all the doors around the flats. Anybody got some milk? <laughs> yeah, do you know well, I think it'd be worse if you got, like, locked out. They didn't seem like there was any warning on that, so you're just standing out there in the middle of the street when that happens. Where are you going to oh, go? Weapons, weapons coming towards me. What can I do? Hide in an alleyway. <laughs> you know what yeah, that, that reminds me of? That FMV reminds me of FF8. Oh, you mean with the shooting and the with violence? White, and... Yeah. But then it, <laughs> like, it reminds me of the part of FF8 I didn't hate. Basically, Fun I... fact, by the way, for those of you who didn't know this, the weapon that's being fired on right here, that's a sapphire weapon, right? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. Yep, so in case you didn't know that, there you go. Congratulations. Um, the Final Fantasy VII Nons for the day. Yeah. What's, what I, also, I think, um, the, where, where it, when it's shot, I don't know where I'm going, by the way. When it gets shot and it sinks, um, I think... I think I think it forms a crater at the uh, the bottom of the sea that you that uh, emerald sometimes kind of rests in. Okay. It would kind of yeah, make sense. It, it, around it a whole lot. It would make sense as it's opposite Junon. Um, so yeah, if you go down there, there's something green. <clears throat> and question: and... Who hmm? did you manage to get to do the report to do the cameraman job for? Uh... I would not think that Good anybody question. would be willing to sign up for that. I only imagine that she beat up a reporter, stole the clothes, and then managed to trick the camera guy into thinking that she was the reporter. By the way, if you're wondering, <laughs> I just wanted to show that um, Katshi's limit break exists. That's why I left it that does, little yes. <laughs> Please, if I can have a word. <laughs> and the cameraman's <laughs> over on the other side. Too busy for... Uh, Wait, well, you're not sure remember what happens if Yuffie's not there? Is there just no camera? Um, I don't know. I don't think anything happens there, really. I think it just maybe shows this. Because, I mean, I've never had a playthrough where I didn't have Yuffie. Yeah, like, I don't I, know. I, so I couldn't say. Uh, I didn't have Yuffie and Vincent until the very end when I first played this game. So do you know what happens? No, I can't remember. It was ages ago. Oh. Nice. I've, t I've told you, my memory is god-awful. I am lucky yeah. that you are practically my tutorial for Final Fantasy XIV, or I would have learned nothing <laughs> from that game so far. Yeah, I, I know. Other than the fact that Minfili is fit. Yes, I imagine you would have gotten there eventually at some point. <laughs> it would have taken longer than my free trial, probably.